Hello. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> How are you doing? Good to see you again. Back from Maui and uh, it's raining. <laughs> yes, it's not It's not a great solar day, that's for sure. No, it's not, but you know what, we're gonna, uh, it's a good day for an energy audit. <laughs> yeah, actually, um, I'm very excited about today. We are doing a energy evaluation on my house. It's a new service that we're offering and I haven't done it on my house yet. So. Pinky swear. Pinky really? swear. Yeah, it's pinky really? swear. Okay, I'm just making sure this is not just for the camera. <laughs> um, so here's a crazy statistic. Out of every $100 you spend in heating and cooling your house, you lose about $40 through leakage. Oh, really? So this test that we're going to show you here, um, it's a lot of equipment, we'll set it all up. This is going to show the leakage in the house. Okay, and so we have Scott here who's actually going to be conducting the test, right? Yeah, nice to meet you, hey, Kim. Scott. <clears throat> okay, so, you're the star now. It's all, all up right. to you. So the first major test we're going to do is the blower door test. It's designed to measure how leaky the building envelope of a house is. This is important because if you're paying the heater cool the air in the house and it's escaping at a greater rate than okay. you need, so then no. we want to be able to quantify that and fix it. So there's an industry standard for uh, how leaky a house should be based on the ceiling height and square footage. And so we want to measure that against what we're getting on our manometer here. We want to see about one square foot of cubic feet of leakage to square foot of house. So if you were at 2800 and we're at 41 or 42 here, we can see that there's you know, a good percentage of air leakage that we can stand to improve upon. This is one of the tools we use to help illustrate where the um, leaks are occurring in the building envelope. So here we're looking directly at a can light, a drop down light. And you can see there's a, a little green and blue circle around it. That's where air is infiltrating around the perimeter of that. Most people assume that the leakages in their home comes from windows and doors, but the vast majority comes from plumbing and electric penetrations in your attic and crawl space. All right, now we have an opportunity to measure the duct leakage. So we've already gone around the house and sealed off all the registers. I think there might be something stuck in that duct blaster. Could you take a peek in there? That's a good blow. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to take this duct blaster and we're going to blow the duct system up like a balloon. And the work the fan has to do to keep that balloon blown up is how much air is leaking into your attic or crawl space and never making it back into your living environment. Okay, so what my equipment is telling me right now is that we're not actually able to pressurize this duct system, which means that there's a big leak somewhere. Where would that leak be? Well, a lot of the times, unfortunately, it's not one major place. Um, it's an aggregate of a bunch of leaks throughout the system. How often does this happen? Uh, more often than you'd like to admit. I mean, the average duct system leaks 30% in California. And I'd say 1 in 10, 2 in 10 houses that I test um, have this kind of catastrophic leakage that we call. One of the other main components of having a lot of duct leakage is if you're pulling air from an attic or crawl space, and that air is, um, you know, has mold in it or fiberglass from your insulation, it's actually going to serve to blow it around the house in every room in the house. It can contribute to really bad air quality indoors. 40 to 60 percent of the air that we breathe in our homes is from crawl spaces. So that's not where we want our air to come from uh, for our family's health. So what's the fix? Okay, so the fix is uh, duct sealing. So you go around to all the little joints and seams in this whole duct system and seal it with a water-based mastic until you get it down to 5 or 6% leakage. 